when presence is detected in the living room and there is too much sun outside, the curtains close. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your SwitchBot Curtains 3, even with the solar panel, to Home Assistant. And after that, I will show you how I created this little automation. SwitchBot is officially extending its Home Assistant compatibility, and it's offering you three ways with which you can connect your SwitchBot devices. Bluetooth BLE, the cloud integration, and Matter. I'm going to show you each connection method with the example of the SwitchBot Curtains 3, but it should apply to any SwitchBot product as long as they are listed here. You should regularly check this page on the official SwitchBot website, I'm gonna put the link in the description, to see the state of each connection method for each product. Let's start with the Bluetooth integration. If you don't have Bluetooth on Home Assistant yet, I made a dedicated YouTube video showing you the ultimate guide to installing Bluetooth on Home Assistant, showcasing all the possibilities that you have and how to practically do it with the best method, which is ESP32. So let's get started with the Bluetooth integration. Let's go to our Home Assistant page, Integrations tab, and if you properly added your SwitchBot curtains to the SwitchBot app on your phone, they should appear here already as discovered devices. If that's not the case, you need to go into Add Integration, look for SwitchBot, and click on SwitchBot Bluetooth. From there, you can add any supported SwitchBot Bluetooth device. So let's simply add them, select an area, and add the other one as well. And there you have it, it's as simple as that. And if you click on the device, you have the curtains control here, the light level sensor, and the battery level. Also, feel free to rename your devices as it's gonna be easier to create automations with them. Now let's add our curtains or any other supported product via the matter integration. For this method, you're gonna need the SwitchBot Hub. So make sure you've installed it and properly set up with the SwitchBot app. We're going to connect our hub, which is matter compatible, to Home Assistant, and we're gonna be able to command our SwitchBot devices, curtains, through the hub. So you're gonna go on to the hub, settings, and scroll down to matter setup. Here, whether you've done a configuration already or not, we're gonna reset the device to put it into pairing mode. We click on how to set up or reset matter. Next. And now we're gonna follow the instruction, meaning that we're gonna press simultaneously on the on and off button for 15 seconds until the screen goes black. So let's go. The screen turned off, perfect. It's in pairing mode, so let's click on next. Then you wanna copy the matter setup code here, copy. Then you're gonna go on Home Assistant from your phone, it's very important. Go into the Integrations tab, Add Integration, Add Matter Device, select No, it's new. And here the setup is gonna be a little different if you have an iOS or an Android device. But the end result is the same and it's fairly straightforward. With this, you can either go and scan the QR code that is on your SwitchBot Hub or directly put the code. So let's go into More Options. Here it is nearby, you can tap on it, but we're gonna directly write the code by tapping, my accessory isn't shown here, enter the code and paste. Continue, add to Home Assistant. Now you're gonna wait a few seconds, tap on OK. You can give it a name, switch bot. All right, that's done. So you may not see at first all of your devices added directly into Home Assistant. In that case, you need to go back to the SwitchBot app on your hub, go into the settings, matter setup, and here you will have the secondary devices option. Now click to add, and add all of your devices that you want to expose to Home Assistant through the hub. In my case, the curtains, right one, left one, and you can add all of the devices that you want. Now let's go back to Home Assistant, and we'll see that the connected devices are here. So in my case, my curtains here, and the other one as well. So that's it for the manual integration. Finally, the last connection method is via the SwitchBot Cloud. For this connection type, you're gonna need the SwitchBot Hub. So make sure that you already did the setup and connected it to your SwitchBot app. So let's go to Add Integration, look for SwitchBot again, and you're gonna click on SwitchBot Cloud. Here it's asking you the API token and the API key of your account. To fetch them, you need to go onto the SwitchBot app on the Profile tab, Preferences, About, and here you're gonna tap multiple times on the app version from five to 15 times until you see the developer option tab here. Once it's there, click on it and you will have your token and your secret key, which you need to copy 
and send yourself in order to be able to paste it to Home Assistant. Copy and paste and click on submit. And now it's gonna tell you that it's configured. And if you go on the SwitchBot Cloud integration, you will see the list of all the devices that are supported for this method. Unfortunately, the curtains are currently not supported, but they will be soon, probably within this year. So you should probably already connect the SwitchBot Cloud to Home Assistant so that with time, your devices will magically appear there. And now I'm going to show you how to create the automation that I showcased in the beginning of the video. So first go into your settings tab, then automations and scene, create an automation, new automation. Now the trigger is gonna be when presence detected. So depending on your device, the trigger may vary. So let's go add trigger, entity and state. I have my living room presence here. When it goes from clear to detected. You can add some buffer time that would be useful if you're just passing by and you want the automation to trigger. Then right after the condition, we said that we wanted this automation to trigger when the brightness is too high outside. And remember on the devices page, we have the light level. If you click on the history, you can see the light level varying through the day. So I think that above six is already too bright in the living room. So let's do this. Add a condition, entity, numeric sets since we're talking numbers. Let's find the right curtain, for example. And we're gonna select the right curtain's light level, no attribute. When it's above six or seven, let's say six. As you can see here, if right curtain's light level is above six, so let's test this condition. The condition passes currently. Then add an action. I think here it's cover, close. And we're gonna select both curtains. So I said left curtain and right curtain. And that's basically it. You can just go ahead, save your automation, give it a name. And voila. As a bonus, I will show you what I personally do to make the most out of my curtains on Home Assistant. First of all, when I click on the cover, because this is called the cover in Home Assistant, you want to go on the settings here and show as curtain because by default it's gonna show as a cover which is the default domain for home assistant after that if you have two curtains or multiple curtains in the same room you may want to create an entity group so that you can control all of the curtains with one press so to do this you need to go into the integration tab helpers and create an helper look for a group cover group and select the entity members left curtain and right curtain. Hit submit and you can do the same thing that I showed you before for the living room curtains which are going to be covers by default. Settings show as curtain and there you have it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any question I will gladly answer and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.